Phil, we're here at MEP in Kent. Now, your business has grown significantly since you took over the company back in about 2003, would that be right? Uh, I became managing director in 2004. 2004, and since then you've seen, a, uh, well, you've introduced CNC machining into the company to start That's with, haven't right. you? Yeah. yeah, so we're very much a manual machine shop before I uh, joined the business in the late 90s. And very far from that now, aren't you? I mean, uh, that's a perfect introduction into this, really. Uh, this Muratech machine here from Matsura, the MT100, is one of your latest acquisitions. This is an 11-axis turning centre. What can't it do? Um, make the tea. Uh, no, it's a very good machine. It gives us a lot of, uh, lot of flexibility. And the fact you've got loading and unloading on here means if you chose to, you could run this machine lights out, couldn't you? That's, that's something in the future you may or may have already yeah. tapped into. Yeah, so it depends on the job that's on there and the material it's machining. Uh, we have run it lights out on certain components and, and products. Uh, we tend not to run it lights out at the moment. Uh, we have some spare capacity on it, uh, but we're building on that, so. What are you machining on there, Phil? So it's, it's a mixture of aerospace and defense component tree. It could be inserts that we're molding in across uh, in our molding section or uh, machine parts that either go out the door as they are or get plated or painted. So would I be taking from that that you, you will do various different material machining on it? Yes. So the job on it at the moment is a brass, a brass job. We run aluminium, we run uh, hard steels. Uh, stainless is so it's that was going to be my next question it's quite a small footprint machine sometimes we'll look at twin turret machines that that may may seem bigger and heavier uh, maybe they're not maybe that's just a perception but even if they were this is still solid enough to be able to tackle those harder materials absolutely yeah it's a good strong machine it's very capable of doing everything that we need it to so what tolerances are you chasing just out of interest on on an average component uh, we can be working down to, uh, you know, tenths of a thou, um, or, you know, microns, but... And why did you select this machine, Phil? That, that's the burning question here. Sure. Lots of twin turret machines and twin spindle machines available in the market and around the world. Why the uh, Muratec from Matsura? So, it's probably twofold. First, it was a good compact machine that we felt would do everything we needed it to. We did look at the marketplace and we benchmarked it against the other other types of machines that are out there. Uh, but the other reason was our relationship with Matsura, uh, having had one of their machines before and, and, and like the service that we get from them, um, you know, they're good people to deal with. This was quite new, this technology was quite new to you, so that would have been an important part. Did you, pick, did you get to grips with it quickly, being, having an 11 axis, you know, were you worried about collisions and all of those elements and, and if so how, how quickly did you erase those fears? Uh, so we do have uh, two, three and then seven axis capability within the factory. To go up to 11 axis uh, was a bit of a, a jump but the help and support we got from Matsura on those early days in the training and any technical queries that we had were dealt with very professionally and very quickly. What I find interesting is that you aren't running this uh, you know, you're not running it lights out at the moment. You could, and you've got spare capacity. So, if anyone does have turning out there within within your sort of sectors, you could satisfy that. Yep. But but what you have with this machine is now the ability to get components through more reliably, don't you? Yeah. One of the biggest reasons we looked at this type of machine is we have products that will go through three or four different machines and multiple processes, all with waiting time in between with the risk of damage and handling, and just it lengthened the lead time that we were able to deliver product. We now have the ability to put material in one end, it's a uh, magazine bar feeder, uh, it's got a little robot on it, it takes the part, takes the part out, uh, so we can go from raw material to finished product in one machine, rather than through the process of three or four different machines and four or five different processes. So it's cut that down. So again, it's given us the agility to deliver product earlier. The machine's got uh, measuring capability and machine probing. So uh, we also have the ability to ensure the quality of that part stays at the level uh, that it needs to. Give me one sentence on Matsura then to sum, not just this installation up, 
for all of them, Phil? Uh, we've always found them really helpful. They've always worked with us to specify the right machine and the training and support that we get from them has been excellent.